Let us all stand and sing our opening song, Count Your Blessings. And we have many to count. So as we sit here today and we gather together in this wonderful community at Unity Williamsburg Spiritual Center, we are so grateful. We are counting our blessings to be here this morning. So let us just rest in our seats and welcome all beings that are here. Good morning, loving God. We honor and we greet you this day. We thank you for the many blessings that you give us. Our hearts are open, are open and we share our love and our life with you. Good morning, helping spirits, guardian spirits, healing spirits. We welcome you this day. Our hearts are open and we share our love and our life with you. Good morning, spirit of the land and ancestors of the land. We honor and we greet you this day. Our hearts are open and we share our love and our life with you. And we thank you for giving us the opportunity to be here in this beautiful space and sharing your love and your light with us. We, go, we honor and we greet our ancestors. Good morning to you. If it wasn't for you, we would not be here. Our hearts are open and we share our love and our light with you. And all those beautiful beings, all of life on the web of life, we honor and we greet you this day. Our hearts are open and we share our love and our light with you. And all of us that are here, we honor and greet all of us, each one of us that are here in this room. Our hearts are open and we share our love and our light with each one of us, with all of us here in this room. Blessed be to you all. Good morning. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about this. The talk that I'm going to share today is a class that I took from Sandra Ingerman uh, about a year ago. It was Healing with Spiritual Light, and, and we've been doing this in our drumming circles, so I'm going to share more information, and we're going to do this. We're going to open our hearts up, and we're going to go become one with our Creator, one with God, and we're going to radiate the beautiful light that we are. So I'm going to be sharing that class with you in a very um, small portion of that class, because it was a six-week class, and um, then we're going to do it. And then it's something that we can take with us out the door and radiate to all during this wonderful season. And um, it's a beautiful class, and I, I do hope that you enjoy it. So, <clears throat> let us now say together our affirmation. Okay. Unity Williamsburg is a radiant center of the divine life. Light, light and love. We are a thriving and prosperous spiritual community that honors the divine presence in all and celebrates our oneness through loving service in our community. And let
Let us please stand and greet each other with the Christ in me greets the Christ in you. And let us, as one voice, pray the Lord's Prayer together and join all the beautiful people in this world that are doing the same. Our hearts are open with love and light, and we share with all. Together? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Please be seated. No, we're going to stand and sing a song. <laughs> if you want to sit and sing a song, you can, but let's stand. It's called Attitude of Gratitude by Richard Perdisi. And um, Steve has a CD when we sing along.
Other healing or celebrations, Sarah? Uh, my daughter just had a surgery on December 8th for healing, and that's the time that we all know. Any celebrations? Yeah. I had my Thanksgiving already, and it was wonderful. Yay! <laughs> You're done. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm going to grab a pizza on Thursday. <laughs> Just gratitude for all of our first responders who month after month after month continue to step up and to those people who've been working on the vaccines on every part of our life and home so that you know we'll we can stay well. Mm -hmm. Tom, did you have You don't have your hand up? <laughs> okay. Hey, Susan. Oh, hi Susan. This was unexpected, but it, I am celebrating it. Three weeks ago, I retired Yay! from 44 years as an occupational therapist. Wow. Yay. Congratulations. All right. I got one, actually. Um, your thoughts and prayers helped a lot last week, actually, because my friend Peter, as an update, has returned to normal motivation has sort of gotten this stability back in his head and is making much more sense now. And he's starting to come to terms with all the crisis in his family and the things that really have depressed him. So thank you for the effort that y'all made because I, I'm astounded at what a, a difference in a week. Mm, that's wonderful. And we'll continue. Yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Jane? Well, I have two gratitudes. One is for my awesome vacation with my family the last two weeks. And the other is for this wonderful um, uh, documentary on Netflix called Heal. And if anybody has any doubts about any of what Ralph was just saying, et cetera, et cetera, it's really worth the watch. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Okay. I'd like to add Carolyn for healing our circle here. Um, so, all right, so let us pray together as one. Um, As we center ourselves in one presence and one power, we realize that our thoughts have the power to heal and bless. We send them out and now carry love, peace, joy, and life to situations and celebrations that have been requested. Thought by thought and prayer by prayer, we transform the world. Well, it's so nice that we're praying together for these beautiful beads that we've shared and the celebrations that we share. And we know that 
Prayer individually is just as powerful as prayer together. So, and that's wonderful when we have that intent. Yes. And now I would like to invite our prayer chaplain up. No, our PA up, but she is also a prayer chaplain. <laughs> but Jude is our PA today, platform assistant. So this morning's um, daily word is forgive. I'll read the affirmation and then have you read it with me. In the peace of prayer, I release all unforgiveness. Everybody? In the peace of prayer, I release all unforgiveness. all unforgiveness. If I hold on to feelings of hurt, betrayal, or anger in response to another person's words or actions, I block the flow of divine love and peace in my life. Likewise, holding on to guilt, shame, or embarrassment that may arise when I have hurt another person also keeps me from experiencing divine love and peace. Forgiveness removes all barriers, all obstacles, anything that may be disrupting my experience of divine presence. In order to forgive myself or another person, I need not justify or approve behavior that is unwelcome. I need only to become willing to forgive. In the peace of prayer, I release all unforgiveness. I feel the healing power of divine love as it dissolves all barriers, all illusion of separation, I forgive and I am healed. And from Matthew 6, 12, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And additional scriptures from 1 John 1, 5 through 7. This is the message we heard from Jesus and now declare to you God is light, and there is no darkness in him at all. So we are lying if we say we have fellowship with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not practicing the truth, but if we are living in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with each other. And are we singing together this little light of mine? Are we standing or sitting? Um, you can sit, or if you want to stand, All go right. for it, whatever so you want. We're, we're going to sing this little light of mine, and then Reverend Denise will give the message and meditation on Become the Light. Thanks, Jude. Thank Thank you. Bye. Oh, goodness. So, um, 
As I said earlier, this is what I'm sharing with you today is a class that I took a year ago, and I also was part of my shaman training for two years. And it's based on a book by Sandra Ingerman, who is a shaman, and the book is titled um, Medicine for the Earth. And her premise in this book is to use these seven, <clears throat> it's a formula, it's seven elements that she found in many, many traditions that folks use to um, heal. And what she did with her group, she, she was able to um, change pH level in water. So she was, she was really interested in healing the earth, medicine for the earth, her title. And, but she also found that it helps, obviously, because we are part of the earth, that it heals us, too. So she talks about transmutation, and you may have heard that word. And she's using, the definition she's using is learning how to merge your, with your own divinity to change what the alchemists call heavy-leaded consciousness into gold-light consciousness. That's the, tra that's the translation she's using. That's the definition she's using for transmutation. So you'll hear me repeat that, and that's where I'm coming from. The formula is nothing new to any of you guys here in Unity. It's in intention plus love plus harmony plus union plus focus plus concentration plus imagination. That equals transmutation. And it's not linear, so um, you know, I don't have to get each one. Just bring it all in, in whatever way you bring it in. Now the first one I'm going to talk about doesn't necessarily mean the first one is intention. <clears throat> and we use intention every day. We wake up and our intention is to have a cup of coffee, to get out of our pajamas, to run to the grocery store, or to drive to work. We, this is our intention through all of our day, whatever that is. We intend to do something. It could be just sitting on the couch and watching Hallmark Christmas movies. So, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, that could be. But that was my intention. And maybe others have the same. So, we intend, it's an everyday occurrence. And it is the key to every tradition in performing miracles. Your intention going into meditation. Do you have an intention? Do you wish to speak something? Um, in shamanism, I would say my intention before I go on a journey is to go to the upper world to meet a guardian spirit. Or go to the lower world to meet a guardian spirit. So that is my intention before I start drumming. And so you set the intention. Every spiritual tradition talks about intention. And during our meditation, we are going to intend to merge with the divine to have an experience of union. Union with the divine. Union with God. Union with our creator. And we need to put our egoic feelings of separation aside and radiate our true selves and divine spiritual being. That's who we are. So that's our intention for today during the meditation. The next thing she says is love. And this is unconditional love. This is God love. This is love that is so pure that it radiates everywhere. This is not romantic love. This love and this union is divine love. And being in this union with our Creator is a true experience of divine love. And you must love yourself and you love your life enough to change the destructive state of consciousness into a healing state of consciousness. That's our goal. We love ourselves, we love others, and when we invoke that love, the world changes because we changed. You know, Jesus' two commandments were love. Love God. Love your neighbor as yourself. That was it. That's all he shared with us. That's all we have to do. And using his love, what he's talking about is the divine love. The God love. And we know that God, as our creator, is, is love. And that is pressed upon us. 
or within us because we are part. We are daughters and sons of God. The next thing is harmony. Harmony without creates har harmony within creates harmony without. When you are in harmony with yourself and the rest of your life, you create a more perfect union with God. By invoking an image of or sensation of the precious life and remembering the truth of who you truly are beyond any judgment or projection and living a life filled with passion and meaning, you will harmonize your own energies and create harmony around you. We need to remember that we are not just our bodies, our emotions, or our minds. And this will bring a greater state of harmony with ourselves and with all around us. We harmonize our energy with our spiritual side and spiritual energies with others. As we come together, we bring harmony to the planet and all life. Now remember, she talk, the book talks about bringing healing to the earth. So she brings all of life, the planet, into her book. And we do that, not even thinking about it, when we are in harmony with ourselves. We bring harmony to all around us. The next thing she talks about is union. Union with the Creator. Union with the Divine who created us. And with your own divinity is the key to transmutation, because that's what we're doing. We are coming in union with God that is within us and around us. To acknowledge the wonders of life and to remember your true nature will naturally expand your energy, shifting you into a state of union with the Creator. Source created you from a place of life and love, remembering and observing that unchanging self and your true nature will assist you in merging with the divine. So we have intention, love, harmony, and union. All these things come together as we join with the divine. The next thing is focus. Emmett Fox talks about focus. And he explains it as, you have a camera and you want to take a picture of something, you're focused on that one thing that you're taking a picture of. If you move the camera over here, you're not in focus. Your picture won't come out right. You move the camera over here, it's not going to come out what you want. So it's hard to focus. It is for me anyway. So when you focus on, I'm focusing on that basket right there, our offering basket, and I'm focusing, that's the picture I want to take. So I can't move here, I can't move here, because it'll be out of focus and I won't get a very good picture. There's a wonderful scripture in Mary, Gospel of Mary, chapter 4, verses 3 through 7. She says, be on your guard so that no one deceives you by saying, look over here and look over there. For the child of true humanity exists within you. Follow it. Those who search for it will find it. So we don't need to look anywhere else. When we're doing this today, we'll be focused on joining with God. Joining with our Creator. That's the focus. Not looking over here. Not looking over there. We're focused on that one thing. Remember the camera. You're going to focus with your camera. Focus empowers the intention to quiet the mind. So if you're focused on that basket, you're not going to think about anything else. You're just going to think about that basket. So if you're focused on joining with God, that's, what you're going to, that's what's going to happen. The next thing she talks about is concentration. Life is a spiritual practice. You must concentrate your efforts on living a life infused with spirit. Concentration is needed to empower your intention to change your state of consciousness. The key to all meditation practice is concentration. You must concentrate your efforts on holding your intention, bring love, harmony, and union into your environment. Now, so the same thing as focus. Focus, you're looking at something. Concentration is different. You concentrate your efforts on holding your intention to bring love, harmony, and union to your environment. 
And the last thing she adds is imagination. Everything in this world manifests through imagination. So we have to be able to fire up our imagination when we're doing some kind of healing work, any kind of spiritual work, to be able to imagine the desired outcome fully with a single sense. Caroline Casey, she's an author, she says, imagination lays the track for the reality train to follow. I'm gonna say that again, because I love this quote. Imagination lays the track for the reality train to follow. And it does. And what we need to do when we're imagining this time that we're gonna have shortly, we're gonna imagine with all of our senses. If you, can, if you can get all of your senses involved, it's gonna be a much a fuller, pro, a fuller practice, a fuller feeling, a fuller um, event. Um, it's gonna be fabulous. You will feel it in every bone of your body, in every cell of your body, if you can get all five of your senses involved. You must be able to imagine yourself as a creative genius who can transform your own life. You must be able to imagine negative energy being transmuted into a positive and send it into the universe. And you don't have to send if you think about it. If you just radiate, it's going to go out. You must invoke your imagination to believe that you can really be part of creating a healing space. So you need to use your imagination when I share this meditation with you, this practice with you. Seeing it, feeling it, if you can taste it, touch it, everything that's going to happen. So those are the seven things. Intent, love, harmony, union, focus, concentration, and imagination. They come together and you get transmutation. Father Richard Roth, which you've heard me quote in the past, in his book, The Healing Path of Prayer, says, according to spiritual law, as we repair damage on the spiritual level, the natural world begins to be repaired at the same time, because we are one with the earth. And performing the miracle of transmutation as Jesus did, one must move into a state of union with the Creator, rather than petition Jesus for help. And Caroline Casey says, the gods won't appear, the magic won't happen, if we are not living our real life. Studying life is not living life, and therefore, there is no magic. So this practice will help us move into action. Instead of reading, we act. We act on it. We connect with our source through our minds, our hearts, and then we take action. It's not difficult. It does take some practice. It doesn't take long at all. And if you do this fairly regularly, if it's, if it's your thing, um, when you go out into the world, you'll see changes because around you because there's changes within you. And you remember more often that you are one with the divine. And that never changes. It changes your consciousness to a higher level. It changes lead into gold. And I want to share this point, a very short point that she was, had in the book. It said, all life is of the light. I am light. We are light. Turn everything into light. And that's what we'll be doing in this transmutation, in this healing, the spiritual light. That's what we will be doing. So I want you to get comfortable in your seat. Just relax, take a couple of deep breaths. And also, when I say raise your hands, um, if you wish to raise your hands, just raise them like this when you're ready. And, um, or you can go higher, but that's what I'm meaning when I say that, okay? So, imagine the sun within your body, in your solar plexus area. Imagine the sun there. 
And that sun is so bright, so filled with love, so filled with light. It is your creator. And feel that glorious sun, that warm sun, expanding in your body. Moving down your hips and your legs, filling every cell, every vein, every muscle, every bone. Moving down your body all the way to your feet and out of your toes. And you feel the warmth of that glorious sun, the warmth of your creator, and the love that your creator has for you. And then you move up your torso, filling your heart, up into your shoulders, down your arms, out of your fingertips, moving into your neck, filling your head, and out of the crown, overflowing, filling every cell, every vein, every organ, every bone. You feel the warmth and the love of God. And just sit in that space for just a minute and feel that love. Feel that emotion that God has for each one of us. We were created in God's image. We were created in unconditional love. So feel the warmth. If there's a taste, if there's a smell, if there's a touch, feel that. Sense it. And just sit with that for just a minute. Allow the light of God be absorbed in every part of your body. Use your imagination. Be in harmony. Harmony within is harmony without. Know that the union that you have with God is pure. Focus on that union. ready you can put your hands up if you choose and radiate that light that you are the presence that you are to all remember we are part of the web of life so it radiates all on the web all beings on the web of life see it moving out you are a bright beacon on the web of life, radiating your light and your love to all. All here in this room, all on this land, and moving out, see it move on the web. Radiate your light. This is unconditional love. This is God, the God self that's radiating 
our self that's radiating. See it touching all beings. See it bringing peace to all beings on the web. bring our attention back into this room and know that we have been blessed and we have blessed others. Be connected with the God and all beings on the web of life. And as our light shined and continues to shine, we share with all. And we bring harmony to this planet. We bring balance to this planet. We heal this planet as we heal ourselves and others. <clears throat> Bring your attention back into this room, feeling relaxed and refreshed. Open your eyes when you're ready. I just want to close with the same poem I did earlier. All life is of the light. I am light. We are light. Turn everything into light. As we allow ourselves to do this, take the time. We share the God that is within us, and we share the God that we join with. We become one, and we share that oneness with all. Blessed be. Robert has a beautiful song for us. Life in me. 
Slide up that, yeah, that one. I stopped looking for the light and decided to become it instead. <laughs> so the more we become the light, recognize our true selves, our spiritual beings, the more we change not only ourselves, we change the world around us. And we come together as one. Peace on earth, goodwill to men. We're moving into that time where we sing those beautiful Christmas songs. But we could take this light all year long. You know, a couple of us were talking the other night about uh, different traditions, and it was the Hindu tradition. Um, and um, they have a light, kind of a light festival too, and, um, very healing. Um, and they light candles, just like Hanukkah, light candles on several days, and they celebrate, and they dress up, and they clean their homes to get rid of the old, and. Um, and wait for the new to come in. So it's just a beautiful sentiment that all of us are thinking of light at this time of the year. All of us are moving into that space. And the more that we realize our true beings, the more that we realize 
that we are children of God and we connect with God. We could change the world. We really can. We are so powerful. I remember Reverend Jenny saying that a couple of weeks ago. We are so powerful. And we just need to remember that. So I hope that you're able to, uh, you wish to use this, what I shared with you. Um, it will change your life. It will change your life. And we do do it at the drumming circle. So if you want to come, <laughs> uh, we, we practice this. part. It's part of our drumming circle ceremony and share our light with each other. So blessed be to you all. And Robert, thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Jude, announcements? Oh, yes, we do have to do that. <laughs> we switch things up. So let us, thank you, Jude. Let us, um, if you have an offering um, here, uh, hold it in your hand, hold it over your heart. Anyone at home, you could, you could join us with that. And we're going to say thank you for this offering for Unity Williamsburg Spiritual Center. We are truly blessed, truly blessed, and we are grateful. And as we give to this community, we give to each other, and we give to all around. And Jude has a special thing to talk about for our Christmas outreach. It's going to be fabulous. So we give to others, and we bless others, because we are blessed. So let us together sing our song, or say our affirmation, and then we'll sing our song together. Divine love through me. Bless us and multiply all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive, and all that I am. as you leave. Um, so, blessed be to you all. And anybody who would like to donate from home or from the internet can go to our website, Unity Williamsburg, and there's a donate button on the top or the bottom. Donate through PayPal. So let's spread Christmas cheer. We have our Christmas concert by Robert Hodge, Saturday, December 12th. There's one at two, and there's a concert at 7.30. Tickets are on sale at eventbrite.com. Williamsburg performances. There's a limited number due to, you know, being safe. We won't be streaming the event, so wear your mask and plan to join us on the 12th. We are also partnering with Link to sponsor a family for the holidays. Our family has a daughter, Crystal, age 11. There's information back in the fellowship hall if you'd like to participate um, in the gift giving. <laughs> See Denise. <laughs> Gifts must be wrapped and returned to the church on or before Sunday, December 13th. I will also be giving gift cards from Walmart or Food Lion to the family. So if you wish to give cash, give it to um, Reverend Jenny or Denise. They'll be buying the gift cards. Um, are there any angels who would like to help place holiday decorations on our Unity sign out in front of the building? Lynn Pearson Waver has materials to decorate. All we need are some willing hands. So if you if you'd like to help, see Lynn afterwards. Our prayer chaplain today is Jan Sloan. And if you wish prayer, she'll meet you in the back of the church. And if you um, have a prayer request that you'd rather deliver 
Childly or for anybody online, you can go to Prayer Unity Williamsburg, no spaces, Prayer Unity Williamsburg at gmail.com. And the prayer chaplains will get that and pray for you and or whomever you'd like prayer for, and then it'll be sent on to Silent Unity. Um, if you're not getting our weekly bulletin from Constant Contact and would like to receive the weekly update, you can also go to our website, unitywilliamsburg.com, and sign up. And that's all I have. Do you have anything else? Oh, one more thing to share. Uh, you can buy the gift cards. You can give us cash, and Reverend Jenny and I will go get the gift cards from Walmart and or Food Lion. Or you can purchase them yourself and just give it to us. It has to be here by the 13th of December because I have to deliver all the, all the gifts on the 14th, Monday. So um, thank you all for participating in this. I'm really excited that we're doing it this year. And um, I was talking to Lynn, the executive director at Link, and she's very excited that we're part of it again this year. So um, thank you. Does anyone else have anything? So now let's stand and let's stand. A song and yeah. prayer of protection. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.